Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel. On today's video, we're going to be discussing how you can make your Mercedes Sprinter last 300,000 miles. Now, to the old sort of crusty Sprinter owners uh, who use them every day for their business, you guys are probably already well over 300,000 miles. Um, but for people who perhaps are getting into Sprinters um, or have bought them for camper vans, etc., We've given you a lot of tips in this video to tell you how you can really get your Sprinter to last as long as it can. Um, there are a few issues that go wrong on these, but looked after well. These should even hit half a million miles. And I know several people who actually have vans that are half a million miles old, um, which is pretty incredible when you think about it. Half a million miles. Most people only do 10,000 miles a year. Uh, that would take you 50 years to drive. Um, that long uh, for the average person and uh, this one's only a 13 reg it's got 158,000 um, so these things are well used and looking after them is the key to making them last as long as possible so let's get straight into it the first thing that I must stress is got to be regular oil changes now these engines are fantastic solid engines um, with a nice attractive looking long service life um, this particular van um, runs the 2.1 diesel engine and the service interval on that is near 20,000 miles which is a very very long time in my opinion now modern oils are much better than they used to be but I still would thoroughly recommend and the people that own these things and get them to half a million miles recommend that you change that oil every 10,000 miles you're going to save yourself in the long run in repairs you're going to save yourself in the long run in uh, emission systems issues you're going to save yourself in the long run when you don't have to buy a new van because this one's still got plenty of life in it um by 20,000 miles, the oils just aren't as good as they used to be. And we want to give our engines uh, the best chance that they can have. Now, if you're not doing mad miles, uh, say you're doing it three or 4,000 miles a year, if you're if you're having your Sprinter as a camper van and you're not doing that many miles, then um, I would recommend at least once a year. Just get that oil changed. It's not expensive to do if you know how to do it yourself. And I'll uh, make a video on that when we come to do it Um just get that done and with that get high quality decent stuff don't use the cheapest oil you can get because actually it's not as good there's a reason you pay more for quality oils um, again the same with oil filters get the premium ones it's just worth it you think you've got to pay an extra three pounds for a better oil filter um, and that could save you a lot of money in the long run so don't be tight, just go for them. The same goes for the air filters. Change them regularly because imagine if you're trying to breathe through uh, your COVID mask and it's covered in crap. Um, that's what your engine's essentially having to do. So uh, yeah, be sure to check on that as well. Now, next is underbody protection. Now, these sprinters are notorious for rusting. 2013 and onwards, they fixed them. Um, but if you have an earlier one, uh, sort of a pre-2013 then you really want to be looking after your underside as you can see this one is in fairly good condition um, it's been treated but I'll probably still get it treated um, I just want that peace of mind if I'm going to be putting a couple of grand's worth of camper van stuff in I want it to last I don't want it to rust I don't want to have to pay a fortune in MOTs etc I just want it to uh, last as long as it can do now number three is going to be using or making the most of um, body protection, preventing rust um, on the body because these sprinters are again notorious for rusting. Now you can see this one um, has a few spots. Now this, this, this fan's actually wrapped um, and I'm struggling to find a spot now to show you guys. There you go, I don't know if you can see that. A few blemishes there. Now the previous owner, uh, before we bought it, um, had the whole van rust proofed um, it was the typical sprinter where it had a few stone chips in the paint and it was causing a lot of surface rust so before it became an issue um, he had it all sort of sanded back and coated with a rust preventer um, and then instead of um, paying to have the whole thing resprayed he wrapped it um, but it's nice to know that that's been done because these little bubbles in here if you leave them um, they will rust panels out and trying to replace that panel on a van just becomes an absolute nightmare it is possible but it's expensive and time consuming and not something that you want to have to deal with 
best in the long run. Now, fourth and final way to, or thing you need to do, you need to be doing all of these things, you can't just pick and choose, um, is ensuring that you drive your sprinter um, nicely, I suppose. Uh, mechanical sympathy, I'm not sure if you guys have heard of that, but uh, essentially it's where you drive the vehicle um, in a way that's not going to damage it. And that is sort of no sudden, or reducing the amount of sudden electricity um, sudden accelerations, uh, sudden braking, driving it smoothly, driving it gently, changing gear gently, um, all of these things reduce wear. Heavy use on a vehicle was one of the biggest reasons these vans fail. Um, now, I know, like I said, we've got got friends who um, drive these things and use them for their business. So I'm just bringing you inside because it's comfy. Uh, they use these things for their business and their drivers can get hundreds of thousands of miles out of the brake pads um, by driving smoothly. Now, the ones that don't, or the ones that have shorter brake pad life, suggesting that they brake harder and harsher, they tend to get far less um, sort of total miles or far more issues um, with their sprinters than the guys who brake less. Now, that just tells me um, that actually driving these things more gently. Um, these are intended to be sort of long distance cruisers and um, they're obviously very good at intercity stuff but uh yeah definitely worth um just considering how you drive don't go ragging it about it saves you fuel it saves you money but it also saves you money in um repair costs in the long run i just love this thing absolutely huge you're on top of the world uh you've got got my driving hat turn this off um just a lovely, lovely thing to drive. Um, really is the Mercedes of vans. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your Sprinter ownership stories. Let me know what you do to make your Sprinter last. Let me know the highest mileage Sprinter you've ever come across. I think mine is 589,000 um, miles on the original engine and transmission. Um, it was a 2004 so one of the older generations to this one. But uh, that's what really got me obsessed with these Sprinter vans. Um, imagine a vehicle that just lasts that well. <laughs> we, we're not used to it in, in the world of cars. But these vans are built to do it. Um, a bit like American big trucks and uh, pickup trucks. And well, even UK trucks. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Comment in the comment section down below. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers.